This is the installation at where this is the main gate. Goes down to that fence all the way around at the back and then it comes around to that side. At the front fence we've got the following scenario where we've got a thermal camera on that pole with a speaker that covers the whole of the boundary up there all the way up to the top and then yeah we've got another one that looks down across and all the way down to the bottom there where we'll have a look so this is what happens when we come in if it's a pedestrian a human it's got human and vehicle detection so if I walk through this line here the cars will be ignored for now I'll get a warning as soon as I walk through It flashes, so at night it'll flash and it'll give you that warning. There's an extra camera on that pole that covers all of this area, yeah? But we've got at the gate as well, we've got warning. on that, is a restricted area. On that pillar, is a restricted area. we've got a little sensor underneath there next to the light. There's a little sensor that covers in a vertical beam down in front of the gate. So all it does is if you open the gate with a remote then nothing happens but if someone were to come close to the gate and they go through you can hear the siren at the back. It's very faint but you can hear the siren and that will go through to monitoring room as well. Otherwise if they open it it won't go off. Those cameras obviously covers this area but if I were to move in an area up there on that area there there's a line on the image that if you go through the line <coughs> you will trigger an alarm it will also give you a warning and this was when I was uh, walking on the fence and that's your normal camera and there's the line trigger so that's what triggers the audio message to warn them you can draw your line where you want to on the area where there should be no movement that's a, that's a speaker inside the camera. It, it, you, you would have heard it very faintly. It hasn't got an extra horn speaker. It's just a built-in speaker. But that would have been a warning as well as a pop-up. At night it will have flashing light as well. Okay, it was these ones and that one there. You can see the flashing. So they all warn when I move in areas where I'm not supposed to. So on that side uh, there's also a line that if someone moves there, it'll give you an alarm. But if someone moves in this area here where the car is, nothing happens until he gets to the gate. When he walks through there, it'll go off. This is a video intercom, which gives a very, very wide image of 130 degrees. And images of uh, everyone that re rang the bell. So you can see this whole area. If they ring that's also on the same system everything all the same equipment same app same everything so this all is on the same app uh, can be integrated completely to touchscreen monitors inside and you can have the notifications on your phone so that you can ring your phone you can see who there is and you can open the gate okay so very close to the fence i'm going to walk very close to the fence so yeah anybody can walk on this side will not trigger but that thermal camera on the left there will now trigger when I move close to the fence so let's go close to the fence okay so that would have been a warning to the monitoring room so it's a local warning on that flashing one there flashing at night obviously is clear and the verbal warning as well as the pop-up and then if you've got offside monitoring they can then see the pop-up and they can respond to it by speaking to the guy on site live you'll hear it's not a pre-recorded message anymore it's actually someone speaking to you and can warn you that armed response is on its way so this is preventative i go against the fence it goes red it turns red it goes red right onto the end of that fence here's an indication of a playback where you don't want the vehicles to trigger the blue line so we unticked the vehicle detection and it's only human detection so the red line blue line doesn't turn red doesn't trigger otherwise you'll be irritated by the cars triggering 
the warning message all the time so we'll see one just now where there's a human walking and that it does trigger now this is when i walked through this so this is human trigger there it goes red all right this is on the monitor uh, in the house this is the image of the low resolution thermal the only function for this image is the blue line trigger this is only for triggers this is not to identify anything just to get triggers this is on the inside of the fence or well, actually the outside of the fence because he's got dogs on the left on the inside so if someone moves in that open area then it'll trigger let's go to all the cameras these are all the cameras the uh, pop-up can be on this screen a color image uh, on the offside monitoring obviously the pop-up and then that can go to the speaker and just uh, address the intruder and tell him to move off there is a, a ptz as well let's just go to one of these other cameras that's the color camera and it's got a little image there on the side of the thermal image as well without the blue lines it's just to at night it's easier to see movement with a white speck with someone moving so it's just a picture in picture on the color image so this can pop up here on the screen obviously the offside monitoring will do this as well so this is uh, the local screen in the house and I'll go through some of the smaller images of the thermals and blue lines are where triggers are triggered so we decide on which area we want a trigger for a pop-up and a voice message so that's the kind of thing that we do areas where there should be no movement at all uh, a clean area like that is ideal someone moves let's say one meter left or right it should be enough to trigger and that's just the outside of the property so on the inside the dogs will be walking up and down but that's the outside and then there's a ptz camera as well this is on the monitor this is on a route it'll run like that on preset movements every 15 seconds it'll go to a next movement or you can have it pan slowly all the way around and then the moment anything triggers within the site of the PTZ, it'll turn to that specific spot. So any of the thermal cameras that triggers will let the PTZ zoom in on that specific area, on a specific line that was drawn to get a close-up of the person um, like that. That's about 200 meters away. Uh, if someone moved there, this is now just a preset movement, but if there was movement of that camera there, it would zoom in Im immediately on that area as well. Uh, then if someone moves over the fence or over on this side, then the monitoring room can use the PTZ camera to go and, and follow the person. But this is one of the static cameras that covers this whole area here in the backyard. We don't want audible warnings during the daytime because there's normal movement here. So we set the time to only go off with the audible warning after hours at night. So the flashing lights will go on, just an indication that there is movement picked up. And there's also blue lines throughout this whole area here. That's a pole with a thermal camera to the left, thermal camera to the right, each one with its own horn speaker, and then one camera facing my way where we're standing now and that is just to cover the backyard over here this is the area that gets covered by the thermal camera on that pole to this side and down uh, and then the PTZ as well now the cameras won't trigger anything if the dogs are moving on the inside but in this little path here on the outside if anyone should move there They'll trigger the blue lines and it'll give you an audible warning and the pop-up in the monitoring room and the PTZ will turn to that side and get a close-up as well. Underneath the cameras facing left and right, there is two little sensors that covers in a vertical beam as well. Those ones there. They just cover the dead spot underneath. Should they trigger, they'll turn the PTZ to look down and it's got its own speaker as well. There's the intercom touchscreen. So you can have a look at the gate. 
and it's a very wide image 130 degrees you even see the outdoor housing on it can answer you can open pedestrian or full opening etc on the intercom you've got a SD card uh, inside the monitor so you you've got messages and images of uh, everyone that rang the bell so you get an idea of who it was you can come back and see who rang the bell as well and when you go to the messages you can look at the image that's the person and then you can listen to the message uh, he paused a bit but eventually he did leave a message